Hello and welcome everybody. My name's Evil Mage, and today I am back in Starfield. The video quality when I do the video recordings seems to be much better. I still have some issues with some uh, glitches, um, but uh, I think I'm gonna continue just doing videos instead of live stream in Starfield. There's way too much frame lag on the streams. So anyways, we are here. We just landed in New Atlantis. There's our ship. And uh, let's go ahead and pick up where we left off here. So if you need to repair your ship after the first little tutorial part, this guy right here can do that. He'll repair your ship. And if you want to sell some stuff, you can sell it right there to lower, reduce your inventory. Since, uh, I think I did that last night at the end of last video, selling the things, so we should be good. All right, so. We are headed to the lodge and we're going to go meet Sarah. You can travel between sections of the city on this train right here. This is New Atlantic so, Transit. This is the event. spaceport. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. So I figured out through uh, trial and error that it is impossible to walk from one district to another. So you're going to be using this train a lot. <laughs> um, in this one, we need to get to Mast, so we'll hop on the train. I call it a train. It's not really... I mean, I don't know what else to call it. It's kind of like a subway system, but it's set up a little differently. Okay, so uh, let's get ourselves to the lodge. Why is it? Okay. So we do need to go up here to get out. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing, or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. So, we need to go this way. The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. All right. We may when be you... in a United Colonies City, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. So when you're walking around and you're hearing different guys talking, nice ride. If you actually, yeah, if you hear. A the whole front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barry I call them tips. I have messaged the other members of You have to kind of hear the whole they tip though so that it'll around. register a new activity that you can go do. Um that's kind of how you unlock Captain, extra side jobs and inside. stuff. If Barry were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now and he hopes you'll make this place your home. I'm suggesting is so outlandish all the phenomenon we see out here we appear to have a visitor welcome to constellation we have a lot to talk about would you care to tell us what happened to our friend why you're here and he isn't i see 
Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. Yep. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Katri, if you expect us to believe in fairy... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the to imagine. We thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, that. girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal, another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Alrighty then. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition cool. to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Cool. We got a boost pack. With the boost pack equipped, anytime you jump, you kind of you jump higher and you kind of float there on your way down. Can I help? Uh, not yet. All right. So, I'm gonna go into our missions here. So, these activities uh, projects, you can make some money on, you get experience for completing them. These are the ones that you gather through just overhearing random people talking in areas. Or by 
picking up the right item or listening to a, vi a recording set somewhere in a building or a ship that you board. Um, through exploration, you gain activities. Uh, the blue ones here are not the blue ones, but um, there's several different types of jobs you can complete here, and they're all separated. The main ones just kind of force you. I mean, they don't force you into them. There's a few that do, but um, you can take your time and do stuff in any order. It's non-linear open world, uh, like most of Bethesda's games. But anyways, um, I don't belong to any factions yet. I don't have any miscellaneous or mission jobs. I want to see if I can go do some side stuff here. Uh, I guess we'll do this one first. I hope Barrett makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. No problem. All right, so. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. Cool. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made oh. more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet. I don't have much time for that kind of thing. Emphasis on the so quiet part, here, at least know. usually. I know you too Let's head upstairs. You Sebastian Banks, you Constellation's know. founder, had this place built decades know. ago. It was a big to do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. All right, just got to follow her till we get to the bedroom, which is right around the corner here. So this is the bar, usually no tender, so help yourself, within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! I know everyone's cool. excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects. All right, so here's the room. A couple books, Ooh, tablet. Not really a whole lot going on in here. And a storage safe. That's cool. 
I didn't realize that was in there when I was doing the streams. It's the ice bucket. Ah. Not a whole lot to do in here at the moment. So we'll just close that up. That's a model of the spaceship we were flying. Some kind of meeting room. Cool. Ooh, what's in there? I guess that's basically like a safe that I'm not allowed to pick. That's all right. Probably shouldn't steal from Constellation anyway. They're going to be a big part of the story as we move along. I was just hoping I might be able to find like a new weapon or something. That doesn't seem to be the case. All right. What other activities do we have? Side stuff. Investigate the brownouts. Let's go do that one. I did that in the stream too, so I kind of know what to expect here. It shouldn't take us too long to get it finished. Okay, so the game crashed and apparently I got moved all the way back here. Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. All right. So we didn't get the same activity that time. They are randomly generated, apparently. That's all right. Um, where are we going? We need to get down there. Good day, ma'am. You too. I think I kind of took the wrong way. Ouch! I was going to try and tightrope that. Didn't work out. and to uphold the values of the vanguard honor loyalty self-reliance in all your actions as members of the united colonies navy i, I do. do then i'm proud to welcome you to the vanguard now you all have your assignments get out there and show them what the uc is made of supra et ultra okay there you look like you know how to handle yourself, know how to fly. Vanguard might well have a place for you. Didn't unlock anything. That's okay. Um. How do I get down there? Other end, apparently. Okay. Maybe. Nope. Not that way either. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. It's 
not any part of that, huh? So do I just need to jump and break my legs again? Oh, no, it's back there. I was like, I know I've been down there. I just couldn't remember it. Needed an elevator down to get to the well. So this apparently is the easiest one to get to. All right. So the well is kind of like the slums of New Atlantis. Sorry, I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while, and Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once, and Garl isn't here. So I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. Well, since you're here and Garl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. What I need is cool. very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. Alright. So, you see... Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was this way. Hey, can you hear me? I think this is working. So it's this thing right here. But you should be near the first junction box. Look for it mounted on the wall. When you find it, open it up and flip the big switch. That's it. Great job. So, that trip to secondary breaker, and that goes to... Oh, wow, really? They wired it like that? Jeez, okay. Okay, got it. Next one is way down past Jake's. And maybe up a story or two? It's a bit of a hike. Sorry. Jake's is back over this way. That's Jake's. All right, so the switch, I think, is over here. No. I, all right. The third one's that one there, but we're not there yet. So that means it's this way. suit workbench okay I don't remember how to get there.
we went through this on the stream too. Um, there was like some weird, uh, That's what it was. So you have to trigger that to get in. All right, you should be near the next junction box. This section isn't used very much these days, so maybe a little harder to see. That's the one. Next one's not too far. Dead end, right down from Jake's. Right under that apartment they've been trying to sell. Good luck with that, right? Can I get through that door? No. Not without some digipics. I was gonna do a little uh, side thing, but box. and if nope. those squatters never cleared out, I would suggest avoiding eye contact. It should be fine. Another switch flipped, another lead to follow, and the lights in here just flickered too. The wiring is worse than I thought. I'm going to work on fixing that little issue while you find the next junction box. Looks like it's over near the... Uh... The Trade Authority. Okay. Just find that and, uh... Maybe don't talk to anyone about it just yet. I don't think this is the right way. Oh, it is the right way. I don't think I want to go in, though. I think I need to get... Uh, where do I want to go? Can't go in there. How do I get there? I think it's the one up on the uh, walkway. That's cool. Anything useful? Not at the moment. It's not that one. I thought it was going to be that one. All right, whatever. So I guess we do need to go over here. I need to get up one level. How do I get up one level? There. Yeah. Okay, the final box I need you to deal with should be right around there. Unfortunately, I just realized you're in for a real angle of gabling. Like 200 years of filling them to rewire was crying by the second day. I gave up on the third. Anyway, there should be a series of secondary breakers you need to deal with before you can access the junction box. Wow, you got it. Really well done. You saved 
it has to be those three boxes. Uh, pretty sure anyways. But if you do off, 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 on, that opens this door, which allows you to throw that switch. breaker Thank you? Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. Right, sure. Of course. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power tree. I know where it's coming from. The trade authority. The source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The trade authority. So that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. If you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. So thanks to you, we've got evidence that the trade authority is behind the power drain being reported down here. I don't know if you ever yes talked and to no. the authority, but Zoe is <laughs> intimidating. I have to go in there, but I really, really don't want to. You think you'd be willing to go with me? Just make sure this doesn't go badly? Yep. Thanks. That means a lot. I can do the talking, I think. Just be ready for, well, anything. She's awfully nervous here. Um, I want to spend my uh, skill points here real quick. So, um, social. All right, persuasion helps with uh, buying and selling prices, so that's a good one to have. Um, let's see. Weightlifting lets you carry more stuff. That's not a bad one to have. Obviously, there's going to be fighting quite a bit throughout the game. Um, it's not quite possible to do a complete clean no-kill run, according to what I've read. So, eventually, you're going to fight stuff. So, it's probably good to have a few of those. Uh, science. Hmm. Tech. Oh, I want to use my booster, so I'm going to unlock the ability to use boost packs. That's one. Piloting, I think I have one. Yeah, I'm good there. All right, science. Med kits work better? Yes, please.
That might be good to have. What do I want to do here? Commerce is the one that gets you better sale prices. That's the one I wanted, but that's all right. Persuasion's still a good one because it can uh, talk people out of or into things. For those of you non-violent players, a lot of times you can talk your way out of a fight when you get that leveled up. I almost pulled it off in one of my live streams just with level one. It's a bit of a walk back to the trade authority at the speed she walks. lagging a bit behind because I was trying to hear more of those conversations in case they activated more side quests. Good point. I want to take my helmet off for now. And I also want to put my uh, pack on so that I can uh, do jumps. Remind me of your name, dear. I'm afraid I can't keep trying to call you little worker drones. I'm Luis Arias. Well, you know that, because I've been here three times. Yes, yes, of course you are. And was it you were accusing me of with absolutely no evidence? The power train is coming from your building, Zoe. You and I both know it, and now I can prove it. I'm sorry, what? We traced the dream, checked the grid. It led us here. You, you can't talk your way out of this. I'm going to ask you to wait here a moment. I'll be right back. There was a typo in that, by the Is way. Outsourcing its help now? How droll. She said that the things led us here uh, should be L-E-D. They spelled it led like the uh, atom or like the substance led, L-E-A-D. Okay, just be ready for anything. I don't know if she's going to come out of there with a gun or call in mercenaries or what. I don't want this to turn out violent if we can avoid it, okay? Okay, you're probably right. Just need to breathe. She's gonna come around the corner there and actually offer to help us, surprisingly. Well, Miss Reyes, I apologize for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly assist in getting to the bottom of no. Sounds condescending, but we got to the bottom of <laughs> she actually it. does try to help. I appreciate your enthusiasm for your work, but I do a little more research before casting aspersions. 
Someone has indeed been using this location through which to route electrical power. It is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and have been keeping detailed notes, which I'm happy to share with you. For now, though, what do we do next? I... wait, what? Oh, for heaven's sake. I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Well, clearly there's yes. no work to be done. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. With Mast's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. And why. Presumably, you're the one who's been doing the field work, so... I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there in the well that needs your attention. Okay, well, this is not how I saw this going. For the moment, let's assume this is all legitimate. I can sort out the details with Zoe. So why don't you go investigate the next junction box? Hey, I thought you were out there, you know, solving this. Maybe Zoe really is telling the truth. All right, so. Something to report. No, but do you have something to tell me? Cool spacesuit. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? It's because they have little outposts everywhere. There were so many facilities abandoned after the Colony War, the pirates used them as forward operating bases all over the settled systems. Hmm. Evening, sir. Okay. I thought maybe that was going to lead somewhere. So, we need to go up a level. Now it's that. Okay, I know exactly how to get to that one. We're gonna come down here, look for that sign. We're gonna run up here. Run through here. All the way out the other side. Through here, turn the corner and jump. And here we are. I insist that you provide updates for any suspicious activity. Is that clear? And Zoe's here too, if you hadn't guessed. We've agreed to work together on this. Once you throw the switch, we can direct you to the next junction box. That's it, thanks. Let's just take a look here. Okay. You're going to want to head for box 45A. It should be near Apex Electronics. <laughs> Are you looking at the same diagram I am? 47B is obviously the next one. It's on the same level. Zoe, I know how to read. Ignore her. Head for box 45A, okay? Okay, so. Two competing theories here. In the live stream, I think I hit 45... Or, I mean, I think I hit 47B. Maybe, just to see what happens here, we try 45A, but I don't know which one's which. was 47B, apparently, which is the one I tracked last time. Wait, what? I didn't choose that one. Oh, come on. It took away one of my options. I didn't want to do that one. I wanted to choose the other one. All right, so 
if you guys decide you want to try 45A, do not come back this way. There's no way past it. But at least this way, I guess I know where we're going next. Okay, so, up to the surface. Miss Reyes is still collecting the necessary diagrams and blueprints to accurately assess the situation before she returns. I'm going to make you an offer. Whatever you find at the end of this path, you bring it to me first. I'll be certain that Mast gets what it needs, but I trade in valuable information. I suspect you're going to find some. I guarantee you the trade authority will pay well. Consider that as you head towards the residential district. We can't pinpoint the source yet, but it's somewhere over there. She's trying to buy her way out of it. Or not buy her way out of it, but she wants it for... Uh, instead of turning the guy in, I have a theory that she's going to blackmail the guy or whatever. So, I think I'll probably give the stuff to Louisa, because she's going to actually try and do the right thing with it. At least that's how it seems. I'm stuck in the only place close enough to land. Wait, you're not suggesting. Ptolemon II, Terramorph Heaven. So, I sat down, grab the highest caliber weapon I've got, and start walking. Boom. If that had actually happened, you wouldn't be standing here. No lie. Hell, you're welcome to go ask around the marine outpost I stumbled into. You're the only reason I'm still breathing. I <laughs> set foot on that death trap. I think I'll just take your word for it. Didn't lead to anything. Darn it. That bad. We have an appointment. You're seeing the doctor. That's it. And he told me I. But I so. feel like it'd help if I had that. I have that for cheat days. Sorry. What? I talked to your boss. She agreed that you need to take care of yourself. I know it's the funny, but a lot of it. Hmm. Okay, so more lock picking. That looks beneficial. And it looks like either number two or number four can do the other half of this ring. So we'll do that. Must be four. 
That takes care of that ring. Um. Okay. We'll go this way. That takes care of that. And that takes care of that. Can't open the fridge. Nothing in there. Like, I could loot this place, but... I don't... There's a reason why I'm not. And if you watch the streams, you might know that, what that reason is. But apparently, I took something from somewhere in the live streams and it got me, hey. Ah, that was tempting, that bottle. <laughs> but yeah, I took something along the way somewhere that got me in trouble with UC systems. And, uh... I don't really want to do that again. Although, I think it's part of the main storyline, so maybe I do. I think I'm going to take that bottle. It's very light and worth a lot of money. <laughs> so, yeah, these guys are stealing um fractions of a penny from every transaction that runs through a certain bank it's called skimming and when so anytime you do business with like a bank or whatever or you know anything that involves some kind of tax they always round that up to the nearest cent or whatever. And uh, those little portion, uh, portions of a cent can add up really quickly. Well, these guys are stealing those portions of a cent for their own use. Okay, so we got the evidence we needed. And we should get out of here.
There have been people in real life that have done exactly the the same thing that I was just finding evidence for in real life. And they usually take quite a bit of money <laughs> before getting in trouble. Which way? I'm going to go this way. Not have been the most direct route, but we got here. Me, but those ecliptic mercenaries, the factions use them sometimes. Restar Collective and UC both. That's why they give them a wide berth. Ask me, those murdering assholes should be blasted into space dust. Hmm? You know you can't give Zoe anything, don't you? So you tracked it down. You've got something to show for it? Great. I'll get this back to Mass for analysis. I'm not stupid. I know Zoe probably made you an offer. I appreciate that you didn't take it. And I'm really glad we got to work together on this. Cool. She did at least pay me a little bit. That's good. Go talk to Sergeant Yumi, I guess. It's a Calibank system. In fact, it looks like maybe they did. You don't want to see anything else to do with this, Zoe? My dear, why in the world would I want to break the law? <laughs> Galbank, no less. I do quite enough business with them as it is. All right. Well, I'll have some people look over this. Maybe they'll be in touch. I very much doubt that. See you around. I have three projects that are back burnered right now because no one has time to help me. Three! Well, I was just trying to see if you wanted me to help you, but apparently okay. not. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help you. If, however, you are here under false pretense, say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution, then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. And I'd ask that you pass along my request to stop these silly games. So, what'll it Apparently be? Apparently everyone thinks she's a criminal. Perhaps. But I'm quite confident in my business, and I refuse to be intimidated. Please, let me know if I can assist you further. That depends. If you have a ship and are willing to haul cargo, then we've got some work. Otherwise, you're gonna have to be more specific. We frequently post cargo running jobs up on the mission boards around town. Okay. Check them out. I've heard our jobs pay well, and on the off chance that's not what you're looking for, well, I can't really help you then. All right. You won't Let's see what she's got no for sale here. Anywhere. Wow. Shotgun, huh? Interesting. About ammo. Kind of ammo. Eight? That's a decent price.
And I'm always up for basic pistol ammo. Pleasure dealing with you. All right, so. I have five hundred rounds for my basic pistol. This doesn't do much damage, so I'm not worried about that. Equinox, though, could use some more energy. But I think those are expensive. I'm not going to buy those because I think they're like 30 some dollars per pack. I don't know how many shots you get per pack. Where are we trying to go here? Talk to Sergeant Yumi. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I think I need to go. I think I need to get back up to the surface. I think that's what it's telling me. Yep. Nope. This way. about the job by any chance uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues part-time security officer the position's very flexible uh, you can basically work whenever you're available no pressure we've had some cool gaps in the schedule lately Macy's out on maternity leave Jose's on loan to Sidonia when it rains it pours type of situation so really, we just need someone to fill the void. Interested? Sure. Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask. Do you have any security experience at all? Uh... It sure counts for something, I mean. You're alive, and resilience is definitely an important trait for any officer. Well, I think I've heard all I need. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop, and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. Okay. Aegis, they're basically UC intelligence. They help identify threats to New Atlantis before they become problems. While we're separate departments, there are times we need to rely on each other, so it's important to keep a good working relationship. We do Agent Plato this favor, and maybe he'll toss us some intel when an investigation stalled. 
Tit for tat. You know how it works. Yep. Let All me right, know if then. You have any I wish that bartender at the viewpoint would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. Hey there. People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. It's some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. Is it real? Hell if I know. They think it is, and that makes them dangerous. All right. Ever run into spacers, scumbags, and scavengers? Hey. Like vultures, picking away at the leftovers of the colony war. You'll find them scouring through old labs. I don't like you talking about me that way. Nailed down. I set up my background in, um, what was it? It was Space Scoundrel or something. I don't know if he's talking about those or the pirates, but I think he might have been talking bad about me. Okay. Our mark is over here. stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic as it is. Howdy. Good to see you. Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? Oh boy, I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice, know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. Alrighty. for you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Uh... Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well... Speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know, the SSN anchor, is some sort of Freestar sympathizer. <laughs> Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquiles City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort of high-stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? I can tell. Yep, spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. See you around. She's the one I'm supposed to talk to. Hey there, new guy. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? You're in the right place. Why is this not... Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well. <laughs> ridiculous. Anyway. Stop by anytime you'd like to catch up. I don't understand what's wrong here. Talk to the bartender at Viewport. I have been.
Never a dull day in the big city. Hey there, new guy. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. You're in the right place. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. Well, at the moment, it's what's not in it that's an issue right now. I don't have everything for the recipe. I made a deal with a holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. I mean, doing something about this won't exactly be on the straight and narrow. Will it? I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? What? Come on, no! I'm already uncomfortable with this whole thing. Don't go making jokes like that. <laughs> Seriously, can you help me with this or not? God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. Yeah, this is hardly a life or death situation. Some light breaking and entering at worst, right? I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I okay, need. Okay, so that's a repeat. Catch you later. All right, so that one's done. Ah. Anything I can do for you?
feeling today's going to be a great day. Don't you agree? It's raining. Time to get all soggy. All right. Where is Agent Plato? Wait, does that say down? I was just down there. Defense research. You are, of course, well. The fewer people there are thinking about Aegis on a daily basis, the easier my job is. Ah, right. You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. You're taller than I expected. Oh, it wasn't a compliment, just an observation. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. Alrighty. Take the NAT to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job's done. Okay. Good luck with the mission. Sounds easy enough. my booster pack. Inside. There we go. How's the investigation going? Still have questions? Go ahead and ask. Nicely done. It's really hard to find good help these days. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? Oh yeah. Once I had a recruit who was basically bred to be UC security. I mean, his favorite book was our training manual. He knew every rule, every procedure, and on top of that was a pinpoint marksman. But he lacked exactly what you are talking about. Initiative. He ended up transferring to a desk job after a year. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know. Okay, cool. Made some money there. Ah, 
if it isn't my favorite part-time security officer. Yeah, we all got friends who need things. But we've also got rules and regulations, and I'm not going to bend them. Your friend can file a request like everyone else. Okay. I've got nothing at the moment, but come back later. And I might have something for you. Take care. See that scientist? Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. Huh, your file here just says scoundrel, followed by a lot of expletives. Look, whatever trouble you're bound to cause, do it somewhere else. Hey now. Private sector, now that's where the real money's at. Problem? No. Ah. Oh. Probably don't want to steal from, uh... Probably don't want to steal from the police. Especially since I'm supposed to be helping them with something. That says take, not steal. That mean I can have it? Wait. You see security key card. Huh. This really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There's something I can help you with? Uh, not really sure. Whenever they get through their backlog, I guess. Is a reason you're asking? I can't really just let you in there. <laughs> he 
You're not getting through. Come on. Enough already. There's nothing to talk about. I've I'm gonna need you to clear out of here, or else I'll have to call security. Oh, come on. Card reader. No. Keep your eyes open and watch your step, okay? Huh. So I guess I need to take that key card. on Vectera, right? Uh, you flew yeah. in on the uh, frontier. Yeah. Tommy Bitlow, SSNN Research intern. Word is the frontier was involved in an attack. It's true, right? You saw some real action. Great, great! Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you. An actual eyewitness! Uh, there's credits in it for credible newsworthy information. Uh, okay. And easy money, too. Just go to the SSNN building. It's not far. Keep it up, Tommy. You're killing it. Zealots live in space or got separated from their home planet or what, but they scavenge what they need. Lots of old facilities left over from the colony war. And they like to pick them clean. Ha! Huh. You have a nice day now. Having a good one? Space Ace. Must be nice. Yeah. Get out of the room. I need to steal a key card. That your 
ship that landed not too long ago? Sure is something. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days, spreading like a virus through the settled systems. They like to set up shop in old facilities, places abandoned in the colony war. That way, they can strike anywhere. Wait. Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you for a DP, an A and B, B and E, or heaven forbid, an MS. That's too much to ask for. Then have to worry about a VOP. Am I right? All right. I'm gonna put a save down right here before I steal this. Hey, I think I got away with it. Cool. So now I have a key to get into that storage. my ship I kind of want to try and talk my way in there again but it's really not safe for civilians here watch for the engine blast will you they'll pull you right over Hey, try and be careful, okay? Don't want a ship landing on your head. Watch for the engine blast, will ya? They'll pull you right over. Keep your eyes open and watch your step, okay? Not hey, gonna give me any careful, options. Okay? Don't want a ship landing on your head. All right, I do have a save down recently. Let's try and get in there this way. So apparently that's how you figure that one out. I wish I could have persuaded him, but I think I took a wrong step at the first option and kind of messed up my chances after that. At level one, you kind of have to nice night, huh? make the perfect choice every time. <laughs> If I can level that up a little bit, then it should be better. Hey. A 
I'm looking to join a crew. Any openings? Oh, cool. Particle beam weapons are my specialty. If you have one aboard your ship, I can use it to reduce your enemy to atoms. I'm only looking to earn the going rate. Alright, so I need to remember this guy because hopefully I'll get a chance to hire him at a later time. Once I get my own ship and have some money, that might be better. Hey there, new guy. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. I certainly hope not. This is a huge deal to me, but it's not worth either of us murdering over. Well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks. But you want a little pick-me-up now and then? I got you covered. I need cool. some time to work on what comes next. But this? This was the difficult part, I think. Really? Thank you so much. Hey. Well, that's what I'm here for. What'll it be? I think my health is actually just a little not just a little low so Ah. I don't know how the free drink thing comes in or stop by any time you'd like to catch up. I don't know. Yes. Pardon. Representative Chisholm. That might be interesting. Can't you see I'm, I'm dealing with something? Um, I apologize for, for snapping. No, I'm definitely not all right. I've got work to do at the embassy. And our overly diligent security officer over there won't let me enter the city. Claims I need a diplomatic visa which I have never needed before in all the time I've visited New Atlantis. Oh, really? <laughs> and here I am biting your head off. Apologies. I'm just, well, rather flustered. Look, if you have time, could you please go to the Freestyle Collective Embassy and speak to a diplomat? They'll know what to do.
Fine. Seems like I'm at everyone's mercy today. Hey, I gotta. I'm trying to make money for my ship here. I'll help you out, but you gotta help me out. I don't think that's unreasonable. I'm not trying to bribe him. I I need help just like they do. Right? Commercial district. Why they set up shop here? They'd be better off in Neon, but Outlands used to. Galbank. was a speaker. I thought it was one of them talking. Yes, exactly. It's like, like, when someone insults you, you want to just get the shit out of them sometimes. But you don't. <laughs> well, not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels. Understand his pain. Accept it. And deliver it not back upon him. Empathy. You mean empathy. But you say... I may not always have the perfect advice for people, but... I try to just be here for them. I think that's what they really need more than anything else. Were you seeking worldly wisdom or just a friendly ear? Ah, that's wonderful to hear. It brings me great joy to know that my scattered thoughts can help others. I assume then you've read Among the Grab Jumps. It's the one writing that most often introduces most people to us. Understandable. The things I've forgotten over time. <laughs> well, you could fill more than a few books. As I said, I'm sure there's a copy somewhere. Might jog your memory. And it would give us an opportunity to discuss the ideas, which I would thoroughly enjoy. If you do read it, Oh, you know where to find me. Okay, so I think this is the faction I uh like in my back when I was creating the character, I set up like a I don't know what to call it. One of the options I chose for my traits. Oh, here we go. Changes you, unlocks something within you. Have you felt it?
so I can put stuff in there too, apparently. That's cool. Is there anything I can help with? Not at the moment. Thanks. I wanted to see what was in the chest that I chose for my character creation. Have you ever heard one of his sermons? They're really good. I, I, keep I don't know. I really like what Aquilus has to say. All right. Only those with an appointment are allowed inside the embassy. Welcome to the Free Star Embassy. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, typical UC security. They try to bully us every chance they get and still manage to play the victim. I'll get this squared away with the folks down at the spaceport. Thanks for letting us know. No problem. Cool. Hey, I earned some money on the back end. I didn't know that was going to happen or I wouldn't have asked him for money. I thought he was going to be the one that paid me. Guess not. All right. So we finished that activity. All right. So Let's work on this one. Where is SSNN? Distribution to Outland How are things going? SSNN. There we go. Now up here, I guess. You can't go in. You just can't. But David's my friend. He writes me. I hate to break it to you, but his PA is the one who signs all those cards and headshots. Mr. Barron's a very busy and important man. But I came all this way. Uh, listen, I might be able to hook <gasps> you up. I can't believe I'm here. S -S -N -N. Maybe get you a ticket to a speaking gig he's got. That's all I can do. You are the best. David Barron is the most famous journalist in the settled systems. I've just got a feeling about you. You have a story to tell. Yes, Welcome I do. Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. If you're part of the David Barron fan club, try not to inflate his ego too much. He's liable to burst. <sighs> Sorry. Long day. Longer night. <clears throat> How about a do-over? Let's take a look at you. You... You're not from around here. My guess is you work, really work, for a living. I bet you have a story or two. I have a feeling about such things. T 
Tommy. Tommy did something useful? So you must be the captain of the... Frontier? Rumor is there was a firefight at a mining installation. I'm interested only in primary sources. So things you've seen and are done that are newsworthy. No hearsay. So, what do you got for me? Looks like some Crimson Fleet Brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And you are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual M.O. Rare minerals, you say? That would be worth the price of admission. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? Huh. I didn't realize Argos Extractors hired such capable crew. So we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? How'd a bunch of miners triumph? Huh. Sounds like a good outfit. The heroic miner is a good angle. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. If you ever get more stories like this, drop by. And take this to cover any incidentals, or other creative ways to pad out an expense report. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um... I didn't know if Constellation was supposed to be secret or what, but I didn't want to get them involved. Um, welcome to SSNN. All right, so I'm not sure where those are going to come across. I might just have to uh, leave that alone for now. And I hear he's single. Hmm. Okay. Back down the ramp. <laughs> uh, 
I wonder what happens if I lie my way through all of these. And... Not at all. to neon on Oli. Uh, yeah, that's gonna have to wait. Okay, then. A light in the darkness. Is finding more stories. I went the wrong way here, but maybe not. Aquilus has seen so much. I'm really glad I can talk to you. Just trying not to get wet. But that's okay. Not a big deal. I'm sorry. I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes. Concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST been studying this tree for quite some time and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs are you familiar with this particular specimen do you understand its importance look i have a lot of work to do here if you're just going to gawk i'd ask that you move on if you can actually assist me however i would appreciate it i don't normally solicit help from random passers-by but it seems an exception is necessary would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Sure. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Any luck tracking down those sensors? I'll be here. All right. So. We'll go this way first. Didn't mean to pull my gun out, but that's okay. You know, I went to chef school. This ain't exactly what I thought. 
um, There's going to be a little kid looking for um, what he calls eggs, but they're actually sensors, one of the sensors that we need to find. This is the kid that found an hey, egg. Are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Okay, well, if I see any of those, I'll tell you. And you can tell me if you find any eggs. Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. All right. experience any issues in your dealings with the distribution center let us know we're always striving to improve well, that's not what Welcome I'm here for distribution. now before you say a word I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online I have been told Convenient. Be up and running in two weeks but you know how these things <laughs> are I am sorry for any potential inconvenience also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? That so? Must mean something to you if you came looking for it. Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? A hundred credits. Yeah, that's Pleasure worth it. Doing business with you. You're always welcome okay. back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait. Depending on what you tell her it is, her price, I think, changes. Because I remember it being more than a hundred bucks. I think it was like a thousand dollars when I told that it was scientific equipment. So one more tree over in the or over in the residential area. I think it's actually near the lodge.
Cool, thank you. If it isn't my favorite almost a lab assistant, what can I do for you? I need all of the biosensors if the data is... So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. This actually right. takes a while. Just another moment. It is working, isn't it? Mm, yeah, it's working. Oh, there it is. What a relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it, it's... Oh, my. Hey! news and bad news the good news is that my suspicions were correct there is something wrong with the tree I will report my findings to mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction the phrase I told you so may even be uttered more than once well from a certain point of view in an admittedly somewhat selfish manner the bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. Cool. All right. So I actually made more profit doing it that way. I, uh, in the original one, I told her it was scientific work or scientific stuff when I bought Thank it back. You for your help and she charged me three grand for it. But I also told him at the beginning, instead of happy to help, I said something along the lines of if the credits are right. And he paid me 4000 So I really only made 1000 out of that job when I did it the other time. This time I made 1900 Because I answered the questions differently. So that's interesting. Okay, so... Elton's not ready. Sergeant Yumi's got another job for me, though.
How's my cash flow doing? Twenty-three thousand. That's awesome. I can buy maybe some uh, laser packs now for some other weapons and things. Crime has slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for morale. Oh. Officer? Yep. Something just came in. Scuffle over at the Dawn's Roost. Security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is, he left without identifying the perp, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Don's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps. Okay. Good. Report back here when the matter's resolved. Back to work. Don's Roost is either a bar or a restaurant. I don't remember, but we've been by there. Just haven't been paying enough attention to uh, identify it. signature dishes are unique to the roost. You won't find anything like them anywhere else. Ah, uh, a most unfortunate incident, complicated by the fact that both parties were inebriated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio have been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throats. I assume that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after UC security arrived. I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon. But I would start there. Cool. Enjoy the rest of your day. All right, Athena Tower. That would be that one, I believe. Yes, what? Oh, I can't believe that Octavio, that liar, that manipulator. Yes, the man who... Wait, what? He's accusing me of theft? The nerve of that Lothario! Five years we were together, half a decade! And he threw it all away for that waiter! He would say that, but as far as I'm concerned, it's my property. 
He gifted it to me when he proposed. It's not his to return. I'm glad you could see reason. This ring is going to fund a very long vacation across the settled systems. <laughs> Maybe I'll even take pictures. That might have been wrong. I don't know yet. But let's go see what Yumi says. I kind of agree with what he said, though. If it was his ring, I don't know. It's kind of one of those gray areas. Whose is it really? <laughs> I can see both sides of the argument. In that particular instance, if what he said was true and his partner cheated on him, why not keep the ring? <laughs> what can I do for you? Ah, if it isn't my favorite part-time security officer. Ah, perfect. Did you manage to get the ring back? Ugh. Really? I should have known this was a waste of time the moment I laid eyes on that drunk. That's on me. Without saying names, there are some people in this city who treat us like their personal security service. But you know how it goes. Sometimes we protect, other times we serve. Either way, I'm still going to pay you for your time. Here, take this. It's well deserved. Cool. All right, then. Oh, check in with Helton later? Wait, oh, so it's not ready yet. That'll change uh, once it's ready, so. Find stories, check in with Helton later. I don't have my own ship yet, so can't do that. Um... Maybe we'll go back to SSNN. See if I've got anything else that uh, they might know, or they might want to know about. Now I just gotta remember where SSNN was. I think it was in the commercial district. So let's get on the train. SSNN. Yep, right up the ramp here. found out I was dating someone from 
You know, we never, ever talk about work or any trade secret stuff. It's none of their business what I do in my personal life. Tell that to me when I get fired. So, this is it? Well, you you want to end it? No, 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 no. I just worry. It'll be okay. We. Oui. Have another story for me? If you have a new story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher-ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but they said it's too dangerous. They'd probably be all for it if David asked. Would you really? I'd owe you big time if you did. You've been a huge help on my other stories. I'm sure you'd do great. Great. I had three interviewees in mind. Teresa Mason, the owner of Kay's house, Henrik Zaran at Apex Electronics, and Nurse O'Shea from the Med Bay. You don't need to ask too many tough questions. I just want to read on how their businesses are doing, and how things are in the well. I really can't thank you enough. Cool. Using it to cushion my fall so I don't take damage. into the well again. We've been there once before. Everyone's welcome, so long as you keep your hands to yourself. Understand? No causing trouble in here. No shortage of hungry mouths to feed around here. Keeps us on our toes. Absolutely. I'm sure my mom would be proud to have the place featured in an article. What's up? Business is steady, as usual. We don't tolerate violence or disrespect. So a lot of folks like to spend time here. The only thing that's worrying me is a new group of customers I've seen hanging around lately. They've been watching the UC Surplus store pretty closely. I have a bad feeling they might be planning something. Kay's house has a reputation as a safe place. I don't want to be associated with that kind of thing. Honestly, I'd really appreciate that. I'd feel terrible if something happened and I hadn't done anything to try to stop it. Why don't you come by when you have some spare time? And we'll talk it out. Great. Let me know when the article comes out, will you? I'd like to read it. Always nice to see a fresh face around here. 
You stop in whenever you like. I've got limited resources. We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. A journalist? That's a surprise. Most people don't think anything that goes on in the well is worth writing about. I'd be happy to help if I can. Things are always rough at the Med Bay. I'm the closest thing to a doctor that the well has, and I can't treat everyone. The last few weeks have been especially bad. There's some kind of infection going around, and a lot of kids down here are catching it. It just breaks my heart to see. Oh, you're sweet to offer. There might be something you can do, if you're willing. Let's chat again when you have some time to spare, all right? Okay. Things are always the same in the well. Violent and dangerous. I swear I treat more injuries here than I did when I was a Navy medic. All right, dear. You let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Okay. Can't say I'll have what you need, but you're welcome to look. A reporter? Fine, but I'm only talking basics. I don't like people snooping around my business. Door's still open, isn't it? That's my idea of success. Sorry if you were hoping for something more flowery. No, that's fine. How the hell do you think? Life's a mess down here. I'm not holding my breath for it to get any better. Great. Yeah, that wasn't any now, help. Why don't you help me out and buy something? I scratch your back, you scratch mine. All right. So, some kind of illness going around. Maybe that's a good enough story. Kids being sick. Sources back. Here you talk and get paid. I spread the news. It's a classic win-win. Hey, that's great. Thanks so much. Did everything go all right? That's why stories like this one are so important. If people knew what was going on down there, maybe they'd want to help fix it. I can't thank you enough for helping me out. I'll send you a copy of the story if it gets published. <laughs> There's nothing like seeing your name in print. Cool. 
Hope to see you again. Okay, so I have a couple activity things set up. Um, I think we'll start there. And I think I'm actually going to call this video right here. We've done a lot of exploring. We've made quite a bit of money. And I think overall we're doing pretty good. 27,000 credits. I've got a skill point to spend. Let's go ahead and do that. I think we'll go ahead and unlock this. And I actually want to work on my uh, persuasion a bit too. So, oops. It'd be that one. Succeed in three speech challenges. I have zero. So I can't upgrade that yet anyways. All right. Anyways, like I said, I think we're going to call the video here. If you enjoyed it or if it was helpful to you in any way, make sure you hit that like button and feel free to subscribe to keep up with this or any of the other games that I'm posting. I hope to see you in the next video and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.